Two other news we're following tonight. A nearly four decade old Jacksonville cold case is now solved using some old school techniques. Annie Mae Ernst was murdered in September of 1985 and for nearly 38 years her children had no answers, but now they do. Katie Jeffries leads our unsolved series that features local cold cases and she has more on how this was all solved. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says it was an in-depth fingerprint analysis that led them to determine Robert Richard Van Pelt was responsible for the murder of Annie Mae Ernst in 1985. Ernst was found dead on Market Street and investigators in 1985 determined the last person she spoke to was a man named Robert Vance. At least that was the name he gave investigators. Now investigators spoke to Robert Vance in 1985, but when attempting to follow up on a polygraph, they found his apartment abandoned and discovered the name Robert Vance was just an alias. They were also not able to find him after that. The case went cold for 38 years until last year when Ernst's children reached out to JSO to ask them to look at the case again. JSO says they were able to determine through fingerprint technology that the suspect Robert Vance was Robert Richard Van Pelt and that he had committed suicide in 1988 after shooting another woman in the Tampa area. I spoke with Ernst's daughter, Lisa Cheney. She says her mother was a good person and she feels relief that the case is closed because not knowing what happened to Van Pelt these last 38 years was very hard for her. I, I get on the internet, I don't know how many times a year, looking to see if I could find something about him or anything. And I found Project Cold Case and submitted it, and they got me in touch with Detective Sullivan. He solved it for me. JSO says if Robert Richard Van Pelt was alive, he would be charged with murder. But since he is dead, the murder of Annie Mae Ernst is considered solved and closed. Katie Jeffries, First Coast News, on your side.